Everybody and welcome back to Falcon Place Rimworld. Let me go ahead and get the game started here. Okay. So my guys are doing their mining over here, mining their own business. <laughs> They're not mining their own business. They're minding their own business, right? Then we got these raiders over here kind of stir up some troubles. Oh, let's look at these guys, though, really quickly. What do we have here? We got uh, Miss Speed, the Commissar. He's got a Glock 19. Let me actually pause this really quick. Glock 19. Glock 19. 19. 19. Is that a, a frag grenades? Okay, now that's scary. Phoebe is going to be really terrifying because he's going to rush our bunker and just toss grenades, making us uh, essentially scatter about. Glock 19, Glock 19. So, Phoebe is probably the guy that we want all of our guys to focus on first and foremost. Otherwise, they're going to make our life a living hell, quite honestly. So, for the most part, though, it does seem that there is no coverage down here that they could kind of rely on too much. I mean, there's this over here, but that's still pretty far away from our area. So, they're going to have to kind of get closer to us. So, um, let's go ahead and get these guys going. Um, I don't necessarily want to rush them to militarize just yet, but, um... Two colonists are idle. Ryan and Key are idle. Why are Ryan and Key idle? I need to give these guys, uh, doctoring, warning, cooking, constructing, growing. Not growing right now for some reason. Ryan and Key, I said. Key's a chef, so, I mean, I gotta get these guys cooking, essentially, at all times, it seems. Ryan can't do anything else other than research, and... Key could do some crafting, so yeah, I mean, once we are freed up, we'll have these guys, I guess, have to focus on that, because otherwise they can't do any other of the smaller tasks right now. Alrighty. So, I think that right now should probably be a good time for us to start militarizing. So let's actually militarize now, just to kind of get a head start on these guys and get our proper situation. I don't want to be, like, scrambling around when these guys are coming in on us. So, Batman, you go and hang out right there. Ryan, the broker, how is your shooting? One. So not really that great. So Ryan, you... Oh, there's another Glock 19 right there. Uh, who has the incinerary launcher? Let's let's do away with that. So Key, go and get the Glock 19 equipped. Mangina, shooting, two... Ugh. So Mangina and Ryan are kind of the... I guess the lesser shooting guys. So for now, let me have you just hang out back here. And I'll strategy... I mean, I'll equip you guys or get you in proper spots soon enough. Key, I need you to equip that weapon. Swag? Oh god, Swag doesn't even have a weapon. So, in honesty, how is Swag shooting though? Six. That's actually pretty good. Uh, key in comparison is a uh, three. Alrighty, so Swag, I'll give you what key drops. So, you drop this and go and equip that. Swag, let me have you equip the incinerary launcher. Not because I need to, not because I want to, because I kind of have to at this point. Um, let's see. And then Swag, once you're ready, let me have you hook up right next to Batman, I imagine. And then, or actually, I don't think the scenario is just too great of a range, so let me get you closer to the action. Jeff? Jeff is a good shooter, and he has that Remington model, so let me have you test that out over here, buddy. And then, you Bolt, hook up right there. Krebs, hook up right about there. Maro, hook up right about here. Alright, so all my guys are situated except for the two lesser shooters, alrighty. He is, um, still needs to get up close too, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So, let's do it this way. Now, again, the Raiders are going to pretty much charge us straight up. I hate that they start using your own, uh, I hate that they use your, uh, your own, I guess, uh, essentially, uh, protection against you. I should probably set this up like I had in my old base where I had, like, an outside portion that they had to come in through. Instead of just having this, because right now when it's completely wide like this, they basically swarm from every single area, as opposed to this coming in from one section. That's probably in my best interest. I should probably set up like another like metal wall, or maybe even stone wall. A stone wall would be pretty good. Like set up a stone wall outside, like an outside type of barricade, and then have them come in through here, for instance. I don't think I have the cursor on, so probably come in through here, and then we can just kind of take pot shots at them. But that's something that we can't do right now, unfortunately. We're kind of strapped for time. So, at least for now, let's just do it this way. Um, Key is not in a good spot right now in terms of shooting, though. So, these guys are going to be kind of uh, a little bit, I guess, assed out of luck, so to say. Maybe we could probably put a... Uh, man, put a stone wall over here for now. Another sandbag here and another wall right there. Now, hopefully this doesn't come back and bite me in the ass. And what I want to do is just unmilitarize these guys. And then Key, if you could probably can. Key is already working on Stonewall. Stonewall? Oh, I put up stone walls. I, I didn't want to put up a stone wall. I just wanted to put a... Let me cancel this out then. Metal wall is what I wanted here. Alright, Mangina. Let me have you prioritize this. And then Ryan, have you prioritize... Okay. Well, 
No, don't don't run off anything. Oh, Ryan can't build though, right? No, no, he can't build. They just need to get some metal for it, I imagine. All right, so guys, I need you to no, don't do anything else. Mangina, what are you doing? Don't get any food, man. I need you to prioritize fixing this. You too, Ryan. You stop eating right now. He over here as well, man. Stop screwing around. All right, Mangina fi uh, built that good. So Mangina, now let me get you into militarized mode and let me have you hang out right there. Alrighty. And those are now built. Ryan, let me militarize you and have you hang out right about here. And you know what? I should probably move one of my better shots in here, right? That would make sense. So let me militarize you. I think one of my better shots, I said it was... Mo uh, where is my pirate? Jeff is my go-to guy. So Jeff, you go and hang out outside. Key, you take his spot. There you go. So this is how we're going to roll. And here they come in full uh, speed mode. And again, we need to keep an eye out on... Let's see. Who is it? Who is it? It's Misty, right? No, nope, 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 nope. Who is the person who I need to keep an eye out on? This, the Grenadier, obviously. Uh, ba -ba. Not Misty. There we go. Phoebe the subject with those frag grenades are going to really cost us a lot of grief, quite honestly. So if we can, Batman, let me have you start working on Phoebe. Maro, uh, you can't reach all the way down here just yet, so let me have you hold off for now. Alright, Maro can't now shoot, so... I need to get Phoebe's a bit closer, though. Oh, God. Alright, so they're gonna stand over here and just kind of, uh, make, like, a human shield. So if that's gonna be the case, then, you know, good luck for you guys. Alright, so Phoebe should now be coming in like a bat out of hell at us, so why can't we still shoot this person? Fire at Phoebe. Fire at Phoebe. Fire at Phoebe. So everybody take this person out as soon as possible. I don't want those grenades becoming an issue at all. Krebs, fire over here. Maru, fire over here so I can't even reach him. Batman, I think you're still firing, right? But keep going either way. Jeff, where are you going? Jeff, you, you crazy maniac. Ready. Jeff, now have you shoot at the subject. Oh, no, the grenades are coming. Oh, we stunned them. Great. Kill him. Kill that person. Oh, no, here comes the grenades. Okay, you guys need to start moving back now. Alrighty. And Jeff, uh, no, 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 stop it, guys. Alright, I guess we could have, no, just stay, stay right there. Oh, God, stop, stop selecting all of them, Falcon. And fire. Fire. And, okay, continue firing right there. Okay, somebody kill that person already. Okay, that's scary. You move back now. Actually, Jeff, you move over through here, and then Ryan, you move back over through there. Oh, no, Ryan, move. Ryan, move. Okay, nice. Thankfully, that grenade took out one of their own people, so I'm not complaining about that. Swag, how are you doing over here, man? 80? Okay. Key is a little bit more hurt for wear, but still good. And then my guys over here are still at 100. And these guys are pretty much getting wrecked. I mean, they have absolutely no protection. And now, Phoebe is finally dead. So I could probably have Jeff move back into position here. Swag's at 72. You guys are still doing okay? Okay. Okay for the most part. Mangina. Ah, uh, Mangina, Mangina. What can we do with you right now? Can you aim at anybody? Oh, you still can. Ryan, what about you? You still can, obviously, oddly enough. Alright, uh, Mispy's on fire over here. Meaning, um... Whoever had the grenade launcher, the incendiary launcher, got a good shot in there. So we should probably leave that person alone because when they're on fire, they have a more likely chance to actually um, get knocked out. So let's just leave that alone. And fire at Stomp the Scientist. And then you fire at Pratt. You fire over here. And then you fire right about there, I'd say. Alrighty. So that person's on fire. Nobody shoot at Mispy. Just let Mispy be. Batman is completely out of... Uh, coverage now. I think that's because he's trying to aim at one of these people over here. Batman, can you get your ass back into coverage, man? <laughs> okay, apparently I can. So, Batman, you do gotta be careful when you're out there, man. Stop shooting at Mispy. Just let Mispy be. Batman, you move over there, man. You're, you're a wild card right now. And let me just have you shoot at... I guess Haley will work out for you pretty good. Uh, Jeff, 84. How is our health still? 79. 161. 100. And then... I mean, our guys are good. I mean, we're, we're not complete. We're not really hurting too bad right now. 
Mangina, fire at Voodoo Jir. Ryan, fire at Voodoo Jir as well. And then Jeff. I don't think Jeff could reach over here because of the Remington's uh, range. The Remington's more like a shotgun, I, I guess. Doesn't have that great of a range. So that's going to be the case, then. Let me have him move away. Oh, he died, unfortunately. So there's four of them left. Three of them left. Uh, 36, 27, and 36. Okay. Uh, it's risky, I know, but let's go in and try to at least um, do some knockouts here. So who are my better suited guys for this? Morrow is completely filled up, so let me have you go in there for some melee along with you to bolt. And then key, not key, not swag either. Mangina, let me have you go in there and start working on this guy. And then Ryan, work on this guy. Let's do a little crazy rush here. Jeff, you pretty much call it quits for now. Krebs is good to go as well. So Krebs, let me have you go over here. Everybody else, stop shooting though. How about that? That would make it a lot easier for us. So you guys go in here. Along with Batman. Oh, they're retreating now. Jerks. Look at these jerks retreating. We're not retreating, but they're actually maneuvering around, which is kind of really weird. They never normally do that. Uh, Anarchy, the Marine. Stop being such a jerk. Raiders are fleeing. Uh, how are we doing? 7, 50. And we kill that person, and yeah, we're gonna un un unfortunately kill all of them, it seems. So let me have these guys just move out of the way here. Krebs, don't get knocked out. Okay. Unmilitarize these guys, unmilitarize this guy, and unmilitarize all these guys here. So unfortunately, no knockouts for this raid. It's always unfortunate when you don't get a knockout, but you know, I tried. So yeah, I think it's probably in my best interest to probably start setting up that little, uh, I guess, idea that I had about setting up an outside wall, because otherwise you're going to basically just kind of flood us around like that, swarm around, and that's what pretty much causes problems when you're trying to deal with raids. So, um, I think it's probably best that we sooner than later start working on that, and let's actually start working on it now. Now, do I want to incorporate this part into our base? Probably, just so that when we come and dump bodies off over here, we don't have to go all the way around, right? So I would say, let's do... It's going to cost us a lot of stone, but let's do this. How much stone do we have? 274. We might have to actually hold off on this, quite honestly. I don't think I have the stone for this, because this is like 119 alone. Oh yeah, we don't definitely have enough of this right now. I mean, I could make, uh, I guess, metal walls, meanwhile. Kind of work almost in the same way, but... Yeah, probably it's probably best if we just do metal walls for now. So, let's just have this go out through here. And let's see. We'll make this out through there. And how does this work for us in terms of our... Okay, that actually doesn't work out that bad. Okay, so let's just do it this way, and then let's obviously cancel. Now, since my setup is right there, let's have them try to invade through here, more than likely than not. And we'll set up a door right there in its place. Okay. It's obviously going to be a lot to actually cover in terms of ground, but um, yeah, I think it works out pretty good. And I could actually even set up, like I had in my last base, where I had a little another, like, uh, I guess, bunker area here, and then to the side, so we could start shooting them from the sides, from the front, and from the side. And I feel that I kind of, for the most part, have enough people for that matter. But, um, you know, we'll do that soon enough. Right now, I think we could kind of roll with this because it's still a good spot because they don't have, like, a... For instance, they don't really have that great of uh, coverage. The Raiders, I should say. They, when they come in, there's not coverage over here for them to hide behind, so to say. So it's going to work out pretty good for the most part. Um, I guess that if we can, might as well order... So let me have this uh, cut off over here. Just in case they do order to make it down over here for some reason or another. Okay, and this kind of works out for me, quite honestly. Alrighty, and then bodies are strewn about. Now, here's the thing. Now there's actually better weapons for us available. Everybody had Glock 19s, though, so that's kind of the only unfortunate part about that. But we'll see how this works out. So how about for now we also um, zone, zone, zone. So let's add a stockpile zone. I suppose out here will work out for now. And we'll make this like a little kind of uh, weapon area. And let's see. We'll do nothing but weapons here. Turn this off. And yeah, nothing but weapons on this one over here. And we'll make this uh, important. And then bodies obviously get moved over there. There's still a few spots. There's actually not enough space over here for all the bodies. So I'm going to have to 
extend that dump zone a bit. Or at least add another one because obviously you can't extend them anymore. So let's make bodies over through here. And then, I mean, I should probably even start thinking about, I guess, going in through here and making the incinerator room. But the bodies, you know what, if it comes, if, you know, if, if it comes to it, I could always, you know, start doing some cannibalism. <laughs> so I don't necessarily want to waste the... Uh, I guess, uh, potential food, so to say, as uh, sadistic as that sounds. But um, I guess we'll just roll with it for now. So let's turn this off and then corpses over there. Uh, yeah, I guess, no, just make it uh, human corpses still. And mechanoid corpses, whatever that means. Make this important. All right. Good. That'll work out for us, too. And then if we can, we could probably get this slag debris out of here at some point or another. Where is my order to haul? So haul this away, please. All right. And that frag grenade jacked up our... I, I, I'm surprised that we kind of lasted with that frag grenade that they tossed out. Of. That worked out pretty good. Let's make a sandbag right through there. Okay. I honestly think that this right here is impeding my corner guys from shooting. So that's probably something that I should think about removing, quite honestly. And probably, if anything, extending this line, uh, extending this bunker down to, like, up and down, so to say. So, for instance, let me see if I could just kind of really quickly do a... What is it I need to do here? I need to deconstruct, right? So let's deconstruct this really quickly. And then we'll put up a sandbag right through here. And a sandbag right through there. And then we'll put a stone wall here and a stone wall there okay that'll make it a little bit easier for us I imagine now by the way Marl can you do a little bit of hauling if you can get this oh that was an assassin oh that would have been a really good capture for us uh, one of the um, one of my uh, viewers uh, Kyle uh, you can probably see him in the comments is black dragon Friday the 13th or something to that degree <laughs> um, he wants an assassin really bad he already actually put his name into the hat but basically, Kyle's letting uh, just about everybody uh, supersede him in terms of uh, characters. So he already has to be named, uh, he wants the first assassin. So basically, he's in the list, but I'm going to keep skipping him until we get an assassin, because he's really dead set on getting an assassin. So, you know, who am I to mess with that? You know, if he wants an assassin, we'll get him an assassin, man. That's all I can really say about that. Okay, so how are we doing here? Oh, our rooms are coming in pretty nicely. So we have uh, eight rooms almost just about built, and we have... And nine people, so we're going to be needing an extra room soon enough, but at least that's actually pretty good. Um, now, what I could do is the kitchen or the stone masonry, like this will be the kitchen, this is the stone masonry. What I could do is then just build like a hall out through here and then extend more rooms on this side as well, right? That's what I'm going to probably more than likely end up doing. So I guess for now we could probably start setting these rooms up, the ones that we have ready. So we'll put that door there, door here. Doors through there and start giving these guys their own uh, room so they um, have a little bit less to complain about, so to say. And let's see, our metal situation is still, you know, not completely great, but it's still working. It's still going along pretty good. Let's see what else we need here. Let's bring another power conduit down through here because there's going to be another hallway over here, obviously. So, regardless of which one, we'll need this uh, being able to be lit up. So now let's actually also think about, let me put this in real time and start thinking about uh, how we're going to do this. So royal beds, luxurious bed fit for the highborn. So let's actually set up a bed. Ah, oh, it doesn't even even out. It probably evens out if I use a cheap bed, but you know, who wants that? Nobody. So uh, it sucks, but let me actually just make it through, I guess, uh, that really bothers me. I don't want to put it up against the corner because that's how I've heard that they get the cramped um, debuff and I don't want that. So I definitely want to put it away from the walls. However, this kind of sucks right here. <laughs> Look at this. For this, you need like an even number. And unfortunately, if you have an even number, you could put this fine. But then you won't be able to put the door in the middle. So, you know, like one or another way, one way or another, your OCD is kind of screwed up here. So it sucks, but I'm going to have to do it this way. I'm not too crazy about it, but you know. It's the only way that I could kind of be a little bit conform, because I'm not going to extend those rooms anymore. That would be kind of a pain in the ass to do so anyway. So let's actually just switch this over, and then uh, we'll do the same here, same here, same here, same here. So yeah, my guy's going to be living in style, believe me. They're going to have, like, really amazing rooms and, like, you know, big-ass beds and everything. And let's put a little potted plant right there in the entrance way. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 and boom. All right. 
So beds are ready to go, and um, some lamps would be pretty nice in there as well. So let's think about actually. Where is my power conduits? They're right there, and let's actually just make a power conduit extending through here, I'd say. And more than likely, this will power up that door, which will then I'll be able to extend the lamp through it for sure, I'd imagine. At least I think that's how it's going to work out. In my mind, that's how it works out. Yeah, yeah. So that's that works out pretty good. So doors are ready to go. And that's some power going in through there. And then let's just set up a little mental break soon. Batman. Why is Batman about to have a mental break? Go sleep, man. Don't worry, guys. You're going to get your rooms real soon. Just hang in there really quickly. It's coming. It's coming so bad. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, let's put this... Um, Where do we want this lamp is the real question here. I guess we could just kind of... Why don't we set it up right here by the entrance, so to say? Will that work out? Put it right here by the foot side of the bed, maybe. I guess it'll work out like so, right? Yeah, so let's just do like some crazy awkward angle like that. And we'll do that as well over here. Two, so it's gonna be two away, right? Two away. One and two. One and two, and then one and Two. All right, that's going to be pretty goddamn awesome. All righty. So four beds are ready to go, meaning um, we could pretty much deconstruct some beds here. So I'm going to do this at random. Whoever's not sleeping right now is going to get the first hand at those rooms over there. So lucky for you guys. It's probably not even my original guys for all I know. And uh, let's cr let's let Krebs sleep a bit more. You to bolt. Let me get you out of there, Mangina and Batman. And Krebs, you're going to kind of miss out just because you, sir, um, are still recovering. So I'd rather have you recover. <laughs> Alrighty, that's pretty awesome right there. Alrighty, so lamps in there, we have some potted plants going on in there. And then the next thing we could probably start doing is also giving them a little bit of carpeting. Trade ships has nearby, industrial trader, good. Alrighty, and we have no slaves right now, so that's actually pretty good. And, or, I guess good in terms of we have nobody to, needed to be recruited. Um, so let's, how about we call it an episode here today, guys, and I think we're doing pretty good. We've got a little bit of an outside type of, uh, more, I guess, better way to kind of defend ourselves, so to say. And then uh, we have our room set up now. I do have to kind of give them carpeting and whatnot, but that'll be the uh, next episode for sure. And I'm going to continue going through here. And I guess we could probably even make a few more rooms over here, quite honestly. Kind of make like rooms uh, horizontal and then vertical. That'd be pretty good. And again, we're going to make another entrance through the kitchen to kind of extend more as needed. And same thing through the, calf the crafting area. And I guess I forgot, I mentioned I was going to do it, but I forgot to actually set up the crafting table and the artisan stone crafting area we'll do that next episode for sure though guys so hopefully you enjoyed the episode and if you didn't I encourage you to click that thumbs up button the support really does mean a lot and other than that i will catch you guys next time